everyone. Today we're talking about how we are maintaining um, social distancing and government regulations during the COVID-19 pandemic in our classroom. Okay, so what you see here is a student bench and you'll notice that there is personal protective equipment on the bench currently. This is the uh, before the first day of class and we have blue tape on the floor and that tells students where to stand and how to move in the classroom. You'll notice that everything is parallel to the demonstration benches. So the first demonstration bench is in the middle here and the second one is up at the front. We are limiting our class room labs to nine students and a faculty member. So however many students are registered for the laboratory class, we may end up having two groups come in at two separate times in order to maintain regulations that we have been provided by the government. For the latest and greatest updates on the, uh, the college's operation requirements or status, please visit our website, um, the advisory status website on our college uh, web page. Now, looking at this, what you'll notice is that we have a lab coat and a pair of goggles for each spot that the student should be standing. So at each lab, lab bench, we will have two students and they are diagonally across from each other through this beautiful big glass shield. It's a big window. It's lovely. Um, what you will do when you first come in is get a marker out of the drawer and you will write your name on the front left pocket of the lab coat that you're given and the front of your goggles that you're given. These, this is the front, the shiny side is the front. You'll put uh, these shields on the little hooks that are on the, um, the band that you will wear and that way everybody will know that they're yours they are disposable the shields are please do not ever throw these away you'll give these back at the end of the time that you're here in the program um, but while you're wearing them they should go over any pair of glasses that you have um, you can wear contacts you can wear glasses either way they're super comfortable and you can see through them you can clean them also with an alcohol wipe here okay at the end of every lab class, please make sure to store your goggles in the drawer, just like you see here. There's a set here, and this person uh, has theirs there. So you will be sharing these lab benches and the drawers with another group of students because we use this room for both years of our program. And uh, that way we have to be aware not to use the other person's things, but we do share the other consumables. Um, so you would be standing on the blue X here, the person way over there parallel um, to the bench and the wall on your side. There's only two of you. They are far away from you as well. We have the um, place where you will store and retrieve your dirty lab coats at the beginning and end of class. At the end of class, every time you will wash your hands. Uh, please do not leave this classroom, whether it is to go to the bathroom or to leave for the day without washing your hands. Every time you come into this classroom, you should be wiping down your lab bench. Um, and every time you leave for the day, you will be wiping down your lab bench again. That is standard laboratory protocol well before COVID-19 hit. So we were already cool before um, everybody else. <laughs> okay, so we have in here, we have our bottles of everything and they are numbered uh, with the number of your bench. This is lab bench two. Somebody put a four here. Naughty, naughty. We got to change that. Okay, so you always keep them in here because if there is a spill, you want to contain the spill so that it doesn't go everywhere um, or possibly hurt anyone. So we have bleach here. We have deionized water. We have saline solution. And we have tap water. Okay, uh, this is ethanol. 
and uh, I'll switch those out later. Please make sure to follow these numbers. This is uh, lab bench two. One is here behind it at the end or the back. So it's one, two, and then three is over there diagonally and four is up front. So um, when you are running low on a solution, you are expected to refill it, okay? Our saline and our DI water are in this cabinet here with the uh, NFPA symbol on it. Uh, we have had a delivery of the deionized water, so that's why it's not in there and it's kind of heavy, so I'm not going to move it right now. But it's in, uh, both of them are in this uh, cabinet here. If we run out of that, then they are down here where the spill kit is, okay? They do not need to go in the chemical cabinet because they are completely safe um, outside of there. All right, uh, bleach. Uh, we have also under the sinks, that's the only thing we store under the sinks because you're not supposed to store anything under sinks. Um, but those are there and we will help you uh, fill that up. It, it should have, see here's a fill line. You put the bleach there and then you uh, go all the way up to the top here with water and that's your 10% bleach. All right, back to COVID-19. Um, if you are on this side, like I am facing, we are bathroom buddies, all right? If we need to go to the bathroom or we're scheduled to go to the bathroom or take a break, we will maintain six feet uh, social distancing, keep our masks on, we will take our safety gear off, obviously put it where it's supposed to go, and then we will head out one of our two doors, so it could be there, or it could be the main door in order to go to the restroom. Only the two of us should be in the restroom. If there are other people, um, then you should not enter and wait for those other people to be done. Maintaining your masks up and social distancing as protocol suggests and um, as the advisory website tells us we need to follow. All right. So you will be going parallel to everyone. You will not be going through here unless you are coming uh, to one of these instruments in the middle that everybody's sharing. There will be a blue X there on where to stand. Some of the equipment that we have in here, we only have one of and everybody has to share, but noticing um, that to be the case, we have strategically placed them on the demonstration bench in the middle of the classroom, and we have also strategically placed your friends so that they are nowhere near you and we're following social distancing there as well. Notice that somebody else gets to be my buddy as well. If we have nine students, somebody gets to be up there with me. It's so exciting. I don't have to be alone up there. Um, we will follow the same protocol. Uh, there is a safety shield there as well, and we will parallel just like everybody else. So follow the blue lines, the blue arrows. Um, so again, we will be paralleling a bench, a demonstration bench. Now I'll parallel this demonstration bench and go this way and go out the main door. All right. So outside of COVID-19, the other things that we need to follow and the way that we know what to follow uh, dress wise and safety wise um, and attendance wise and all of that for our classroom labs and for class in general, we have a summative evaluation tool which has guidelines on what you should wear, how you should smell, how you should speak, how you should act and um, attendance. There is a rubric at the very end of that document. Please make sure to read and follow all those guidelines. Um, you are graded on all of those things at the end of the semester. 
And the great news is everybody starts out with 100%. And for every infraction, that's when your gray begins to be depleted. As long as you are familiar with the document and you follow the protocol, you should be fine. And it is super easy to follow. Uh, we establish those guidelines because of the guidelines of the facilities that we attend clinical rotations and the guidelines of the profession itself. So we are teaching you to be a laboratory professional from the very first time that you have a class with us. And we uh, use the same uh, or very close to the same evaluation tool for every single course. Um, the intro class has a slightly different one than the theory and lab classes, which is slightly different also from the clinical uh, rotation courses. So more and more you will become that wonderful professional that will save people and help make uh, this world very wonderful. All right, so I hope to see you soon, and I'm so excited to start class with you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.